seen Tobias? Hi, I'm John Patrick Sullivan. Yoga is a wonderful system for healthy living. Many people throughout the world are inspired to practice the system of BKS Iyengar because it is unique. The movements are called asanas, a Sanskrit word meaning posture. They are slow, safe and precise. Now if you have read the guidelines carefully, we will begin. Tadasana, the mountain pose. Standing upright, lifting muscles against gravity, is where muscle tone begins. Stand with your feet together, or a little apart if it feels more comfortable. Stretch out all your toes, and feel the weight of your feet balanced evenly between the balls of your feet and your heels. Press down into your heels, but keep the weight balanced. Stretch up through the legs, lifting the kneecaps. Continue stretching up through your pelvis, but keep the tailbone down. Stretch up through your spine, all the way to the top of the head. Make sure that your shoulders lengthen down. Your front ribs stay soft and your neck feels long. Feel comfortable as you stand and let's deepen the breath. As you start to breathe in, gently lift the abdomen back towards the spine and let the side ribs open. Be careful not to let those shoulders come up. Breathe out, relax the body but don't collapse your spine. Breathe in and out through your nose. In and out. In and out. Good. We will come back to the mountain pose after each position. So don't worry if it doesn't feel too comfortable yet. Trikonasana, the triangle pose. We seldom stretch to the side, but it is an important movement for releasing tight muscles in the lower back, and it helps to relieve back aches. Stand upright, bring your hands to your chest, Bend your knees and jump your feet parallel, three to four feet apart. Extend your arms at shoulder level, palms down. Breathe in, lift your spine and stretch out into your arms and into your fingertips, opening across the shoulder blades. Breathe out. Lift up on your heel and swivel your left foot in slightly. Turn your right leg out at 90 degrees. Line up your right heel with the arch of your left foot. Lift up through the legs and stretch up through your spine. Breathe in. Breathing out, extend your spine to the right, moving the hips to the left and keeping the weight on the back leg. Place your right hand on your leg or on some books by your foot, as John is doing, without bending your body forward. Stretch up through your left arm and look up at your hand. Keep your neck long and do not throw your head back. Relax your shoulders down, away from your ears. Don't forget to breathe normally. If it is a strain to look up, turn your head and just look forwards. Relax your face, throat and eyes and go on extending gently in this position with both sides of the spine equally long. Breathe normally. Good. Now to come up, press down with your back leg Breathe in, 
Lift your left arm up. Breathe out. Turn your feet to the front and bring your arms down. Breathe normally. We will repeat this position on the other side. Turn your right foot in and left leg out. Remember the position of the feet. Front heel in line with the arch of the back foot. Breathe in and stretch up. Breathe out, extend to the left, keeping both sides of the spine long. Breathe normally. To come up, breathe in, Breathe out, arms down. Standing positions are the foundation of your practice. They build your inner strength. But you must go slowly, step by step, and if necessary, relax forward after each position. Step your feet hip width apart. Stretch up tall. Now bend forward from the hips, keeping the legs straight or slightly bent if you are stiff. Relax completely. It is important how you come up after relaxing forwards especially if you are stiff. Place your hands on your hips. Breathe in. Lift the abdomen. Keep it firm. That gives support for the spine. Release slowly. Come all the way up. Breathe out. And just relax your arms by your sides. Parshvakanasana, extended side stretch. This position is so valuable for making movements that keep your hips mobile, fending off the wear and tear of these joints. Stand upright. Jump your feet four and a half to five feet apart. Stretch your arms. Swivel your left foot in slightly and turn your right leg out at 90 degrees, turning the thigh so that the knee faces the little toe. Breathe in. Breathing out, bend your right knee to form a right angle. Make sure your thigh is parallel to the floor and your shin bone vertical. Stretch into the back leg firmly. Breathe in. Breathing out, stretch sideways along your thigh, bringing your right hand to the floor. If you need to, rest your hand on a block as John is doing. Your left hand rests by your side. Keep your right knee back against your armpit. Hold this position for a few breaths, really stretching into the back leg. Relax your face and shoulders and breathe. Breathing in, breathing out, extend your left arm up and over your head, palm facing the floor. Now turn your head and look up. Hold this stretch, breathing normally. Breathe in, come up with the strength of your back leg, turn the right foot to face the front, breathe out and bring your arms down by your side. Now turn to the other side with your right foot in and your left leg turned out to 90 degrees. Inhale, raise your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, bend your left knee to form a right angle. Make sure that your legs are far enough apart to get the right angle. The movement is from the hips. 
Keep your knee in line with your foot. Bring your left hand down and stretch your right arm over the head. Breathe normally. Breathe in and lift up. Turn your left foot to the front, breathe out and bring your feet together. Stand in mountain pose or take your feet apart and relax forward. Let us continue with our instructions for mountain pose. Keep your feet working. Stretch up through your legs firmly. Lift the knees with the front thigh muscles. Do not overstretch your legs by forcing the knees back. Lift. When you can work your feet and your legs firmly, it is much easier to stretch up through your spine. Padrasana 1, Warrior Pose 1. This is a very good pose to get the upper back mobile and build your stamina. Stand upright, breathe in, and jump your feet four to five feet apart. Stretch your arms out, draw your shoulder blades down, and relax your neck, face, and throat. With your feet parallel, pull your inner legs up, Lift the front of your pelvis and stretch up through the spine. Breathe in. Rotate your arms back from your shoulders, palms up. Breathe out and stretch your arms over your head. If this feels too strenuous, bring your arms down and place your hands on your hips. Extend through the sides of the trunk and don't hunch the shoulders. Now turn your left foot in 45 to 60 degree angle. Your right leg out 90 degrees. And turn all the way around to face your right leg. Turn your back leg, knee and hip, but do not raise your back heel. Breathe in. Breathe out and bend your right knee at 90 degrees. Adjust your feet if necessary keeping your right thigh parallel with the floor and the shin bone vertical. Now keep a strong straight back leg. Press the heel down. Keep your chest open. Keep the back of your neck long. Breathing normally, hold this position. Breathing in, come up, Turn your right foot to the front. Breathe out. Bring your arms down and rest. Now let's repeat this movement on the other side. Inhale. Raise your arms to shoulder level. Rotate the arms as before. Exhale and stretch up. Turn your right foot in. Your left leg out. Turn to face your left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your left knee to form a right angle. Stretch up through your arms and into your fingertips. Enjoy the upward lift of the spine. Keep your breathing smooth and soft. Breathe in, straighten your leg, breathe out. Turn your left foot parallel with the right and bring your arms down. Bring your feet together and relax forward. Now you know how to work your legs in mountain pose. 
Let us go to lengthening the whole spine. Stand up tall. Do not overarch in the back of the waist, but create length by drawing the tailbone under. Lift the front of the pelvis. Now you can stand up really tall. Virapadrasana 2. Proud Warrior. This is a good pose for turning the abdominal and back muscles. Stretch up. Jump your feet four and a half to five feet apart, arms outstretched. Turn your left foot slightly in and the right leg out at 90 degrees. Keep the tailbone drawn under and the trunk lifted. Now stretch the arms from the spine into the fingertips. Relax those shoulders down. Breathe smoothly and softly. Breathe in, stretch up. Breathe out and bend your right knee to form a right angle. As you bend your right knee, keep the pelvis lifted and keep the left leg firm. Turn your head and gaze beyond the fingertips. Breathe normally. Keep the back arm level with your front arm. Stretch up through the spine like a proud warrior. Breathe normally and keep your eyes, face and throat soft. To come up, inhale, straighten your right leg. Turn your feet to the front, parallel with each other. Breathe out and lower your arms. Now let's repeat on the other side. Make sure that your legs are wide enough apart. Breathe in. Stretch your arms out, level with your shoulders. Keeping your shoulders down and relaxed. Turn the right foot in and the left leg out. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your left leg into a right angle, keeping the left knee back in line with your foot. Keep the right inner ankle lifted and open, the right hip outwards without disturbing the left knee. Keep stretching up, breathing normally, and turn your head, looking out over your left fingertips. Breathe. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, feet together. Now let us complete mountain pose. Stretch up through the spine, but keep the front ribs soft. Lengthen your upper back and your neck. Relax your shoulders down. Draw the shoulder blades down and tuck the shoulder blades in. Keep the neck really long. Soften your eyes, throat and face. Breathe quietly. Now you should feel very tall and relaxed. Parshvottanasana, long back stretch. This stretch helps rebalance a stooped posture and release a tight upper back. For those of you who are stiff, it helps to start learning this position by extending out to the back of a chair. Standing tall, stretch up, then join your palms behind your back, fingers pointing down. Breathe in. On the out breath, turn your fingers toward your spine and bring the hands up 
as far as you can. Keep breathing. Never hold your breath. If this is too hard to do, try the alternative, like John, catching your elbows behind your back. Now tuck the tailbone in and stretch up through the back of the waist, pressing the palms together, fingers extended. Bring your shoulders and upper arms back and elbows down. Breathe in. Jump three to four feet apart. Breathe out and stretch up again. Turn your left foot in slightly and turn the right leg out 90 degrees. Turn the whole trunk around to face the right leg. Your pubis, navel and breastbone now face the right. Maintain the lift in the body and extend the back of the neck. Keep the breathing smooth and soft. Breathe in. Breathing out, stretch forward from your hips and rest your trunk on your front thigh or reach out with your arms to the back of the chair. Hold as long as is comfortable with quiet, steady breathing and keep pressing firmly on the back foot. Good. Now to come up. Breathe in. Lengthen your spine and raise your head. Turn your right foot to the centre. Breathe out and let's repeat this stretch on the other side. Turn the right foot in and the left foot out at 90 degrees. Remember to keep the heel of the left foot in line with the arch of the back foot. Keep turning the whole body around towards the left leg. Lift the spine. Open your chest. Breathe in. Breathing out, stretch forwards as far as you can. Moving the left hip back, but keeping the right hip turned forwards and the weight on the back leg. Rest in this position, breathing normally. To release from this pose, breathe in and stretch your body up. Breathe out, turn your left foot to the centre, parallel to the right. Relax your arms and bring your feet together. Uttanasana, lengthening forward. Bending forward calms the mind and refreshes the brain when you feel tired. Take a chair and stand arms length away. Stand with your feet hip width apart, hands on your hips. Keep your weight balanced evenly between the balls of your feet and your heels. Stretch your toes. Remember to stretch up through your entire body, keeping your breathing smooth and soft. Breathe in, And as you breathe out, bend forwards, making the movement from your hips and stretch out towards the chair. Remember to stretch up through your entire body, keeping your breathing smooth and soft. Now breathe in and bend forwards, making the movement from your hips. Stretch out towards the chair. This may be difficult for some of you with tight hamstrings, so don't force. Listen to your body. Bend the knees slightly. Keeping your body at arm's length from the chair, arms straight, the outer hip stays in line with your ankle. Gently elongate the spinal column. Stay in this position, breathing easily. 
lift your buttock bones and open wide to release the lower back. If your knees are bent, try gently to straighten your legs. Breathe softly. Release your shoulders. Don't push your ribs down towards the floor. Let them stay soft. Good. Now exhale. Take your hands off the chair and relax your body down. Your hands may reach the floor. Relax. Breathe normally. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale. Stretch forwards to come up. Exhale. Bring your feet together and bring your arms by your sides. After practicing this, and when you feel more comfortable, you can take this position even further. But don't be ambitious too soon. Listen to your body. Stand with your feet together. Raise your arms and stretch up tall. Feel the beautiful free release of the spine. Breathe in. Breathing out, extend your spine forwards, lengthening from your hips, widening your buttock bones. Place your fingertips to the floor, balancing your weight evenly. Breathe in. Stretch your spine out from the hips and look up. Breathing out, Place your palms on the floor and lengthen your spine down. Waist, chest and head. Breathe normally and relax. Keep your legs straight by lengthening through the inner legs. Make sure you keep the back of the neck soft. You can relax in this position, like this. Breathe in to come all the way up. Breathe out and rest your arms by your sides. Stand in mountain pose and experience the quietness of the mind. Paripuna Navasana, Ardhanavasana, Boat Pose. The next two positions strengthen the lower back and tone the abdominal muscles. Sit up straight with the legs stretched out in front. Place the palms on the floor beside your hips. Stretch up through the spine and release your shoulders down. Breathe in. Recline the trunk slightly back and simultaneously raise the legs as high as you can as you breathe out. Stretch the arms at shoulder level, palms facing inwards. Balance on the buttock bones, not on the spine. Keep breathing with the legs and arms stretched firmly. Breathe in. Breathing out, lower the hands and legs to the floor and relax by lying on the floor with your knees bent. There is a variation of this pose, Ardhanavasana, half boat pose. Sit up straight with your legs stretched out and the weight even on your buttock bones. Clasp your hands behind your head. Bring your elbows in slightly. Breathe in. Breathing out, lean back and lower the torso further down than in the previous pose and raise the legs in line with your head. Hold this position and keep breathing. 
Keep the legs and feet stretched out. Relax your shoulders. Soften your face, eyes and throat and breathe from your abdomen. Breathe in, breathe out and release as before and relax. Virasana, shoulder extension. This pose is good for releasing the upper back. Sit on a blanket and place a cushioned block between your feet. Bring your buttocks back. If this feels uncomfortable, sit on a chair like John. Now place your feet firmly on the floor and lift your spine. Interlock your fingers and stretch your palms away from you at shoulder level and breathe in. Exhaling, stretch out and lift your arms up above the head, keeping your arms straight. Extend up, pushing your palms to the ceiling. Make sure you don't hunch your shoulders and make sure you don't overarch in the back of the waist. This movement is in the side ribs and the spine. Stretch your arms up as far as you can without collapsing your spine. Breathe in. Breathing out, extend your arms down to rest by your sides. Now we will change over the interlocking of the fingers and repeat the movement. There is a familiar way and an unfamiliar way to interlock the fingers. Now, for the next part of this pose, I will be using the belt. Raise your right arm above your head. Turn your right palm back facing behind you. Inhale. Exhaling, drop your arm behind you. Place the left hand on the right elbow. Lift your right elbow and extend your fingers down your back. Hold and breathe easily. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left arm down and turn it back with your palm turned out. Bend the elbow and try to catch the fingers of your right hand. Don't force the movement. Use the belt to start with. Continue to stretch your upper right arm and rotate the left shoulder back and down, keeping the spine straight and head facing forwards. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax your face. Release your left arm and your right arm slowly and relax. Good. Now we'll repeat this position on the other side. Bend your left arm up and stretch it back. Bring your right arm down, turn it back, and reach up to catch your fingers. Breathe easily. Open your chest. Keep the eyes, face, and throat soft. Breathe in, and on the out breath, release your arms slowly. Now we can relax into this next position, the child's pose, from the blanket or the chair. Move the knees a little apart. Lift the hips and adjust the buttocks back. Sit comfortably. 
Now breathe in. Breathing out, bend forwards from your hips, stretching your arms out and resting your body on your thighs. Keep your buttocks on the cushion or the chair and relax your head down. Relax the abdomen and breathe deeply. Breathe in, raise your head, breathe out and come all the way up. Vajasana, spinal twist with chair. This simple spinal twist is invaluable for bad backs. Sit sideways on a chair with your right hip against the back. Now place your feet firmly on the floor, keeping the knees and feet together and your hands resting on your knees. Sit up tall, breathe in deeply and stretch the spine. Breathing out, turn to the right and hold the back of the chair. Push against the chair with your right hand and turn the left side of your spine from your pelvis as far as you can. Keep your shoulders level and relaxed. Stretch up, keeping the shoulders dropped and look over your right shoulder. Breathe out, come back to the center and relax. Now repeat on the left. Sit as before, feet firmly on the floor, knees together. Lift up through the spine. Breathe in, Breathing out, rotate to the back of the chair, synchronizing the movement of your left and right sides. Breathe in. Breathing out, look over the left shoulder. Keep the neck long, don't force the neck back. Hold this position, breathing normally. Breathing out, turn to the front and relax the body between your legs. Shalabhasana, locust position. This position strengthens the spine and relieves backache. Lie face down on a blanket. Place a small folded towel under the abdomen. This will help to keep the back long. Stretch your arms back by your sides, palms up. Stretch each leg back and slightly rotate the front thighs inward. With feet and legs together, press your thighs, pelvis and tops of your feet down firmly. Draw your knees up. Lightly contract your buttocks. Breathe in slowly. Breathing out, raise your legs and stretch your spine, bringing your head and shoulders in line with your feet. Make sure you do not overarch in the middle of the back. Keep the buttocks contracted and your legs stretched out. Good. Now really stretch your arms back from your shoulders towards your fingertips. While stretching your thighs, keep the pelvis down. Lengthen the back of your neck and hold this position, breathing normally. Now breathing out, lower yourself to the floor and rest. When you feel rested, you can repeat this position two or three times.
application of this pose may also be tried to relieve aches in the lower part of the back. Bend your knees and keep the thighs apart, shins perpendicular to the floor. Breathe in and breathing out, lift the thighs, head and shoulders off the floor, keeping the shins 90 degrees and the backs of the hands pressing down onto the floor. Take a few breaths. Keep the neck extended and the throat soft. Breathe in. Breathing out, bring the knees together. Keep breathing. Now, on the out breath, lower yourself down, bring your arms forward and rest your head on your arms. Adomukha Svanasana, Down Face Dog. This is a wonderful pose for lengthening the whole spine. Kneel on all fours on a non-slip surface, with hands shoulder width apart, palms and fingers stretched. Your knees and feet should be hip width apart, with your toes tucked under. Breathe in. Breathing out, swing your hips as high as possible, straightening your legs, moving on to your tiptoes. Breathe normally. Stay on your toes and let your head relax between your arms. Breathe in. Breathing out, slowly stretch your heels down keeping your hips as high as possible and stretch your spine back. Now if it is difficult to straighten your legs when you bring the heels down, keep your knees bent slightly. Extend your heels as far as you can to the floor, hitting your thighs and shins back and keeping your arms straight. Your arms should be working as firmly as your legs. Lift the buttock bones and widen them. If your knees are bent, now gently straighten them. Be sure to keep your neck and face relaxed. Breathe evenly and softly. Good. Breathe in. Come down slowly on all fours and breathing out, stretch your hips back onto your heels and relax in child's pose. Paschimottanasana, relaxing forward. This posture is good for calming the mind and refreshing the brain when you feel mentally active. Sit on a blanket with your hands by your sides and your legs straight out. Stretch up through your spine. Lift your hips and release the backs of your thighs outwards. Bring the weight down evenly on the buttock bones. Stretch up again and relax your shoulders down. Breathe in. Stretch forward from your hips and catch your feet. If this is difficult, sit on a cushion. Loop a belt around your feet. And stretch up again, like John. Lift the front of your body. Breathe in. Breathing out, draw your spine forwards until your chest rests on your thighs and your head rests on your shins. 
Breathe softly and smoothly and let your body sink down into your legs. For those of you who are using the belt, you will find it easier to rest your body on a folded blanket with some cushions under your forehead. Breathe softly and smoothly. Eventually, you will be able to catch your feet. When you are comfortable in this position, one hand can catch the back of the other wrist. Rest. Breathe smoothly. Breathe in. Come all the way up. Breathe out and lie flat on your back with your knees over your waist. Shavasana, relaxing deeply. Before starting this pose, make sure you are warm and have a blindfold or a folded towel handy to cover the eyes. Lie straight on a blanket with your knees bent and a small folded towel supporting your neck and head. A rolled up blanket under your knees can help your lower back relax. Lift your hips and draw your buttocks under towards your heels and slowly lower your back towards the floor. Let your arms roll out away from the body, your palms up. Drop your shoulders to the floor, breathing softly and smoothly. Lift your chest. Slide your shoulder blades down to the back of your waist. Lower your spine down again and relax. Lengthen the neck. Now stretch your legs out one by one into your heels. Breathe gently. Relax your feet and legs. Let your whole body soften into the floor. Close your eyes. Relax. Keep breathing gently, and as your muscles gradually soften, your brain becomes quiet. Listen to your breath. Keep it soft. Relax your face and feel your skin soften as you do so. With your mouth closed, breathe through your nostrils slowly in a gentle rhythm. You can stay in this relaxing pose for five to ten minutes or longer you have the time. and in time you will feel the benefits in your body and your mind too. And remember, yoga is not the end in itself, 
but a means 